These highlights are brought to you by Richards and Summers Insurance Agency, offering professional service for your business and personal needs. An independent agency representing many great companies. Visit their offices in Sparta or Denville or go to richardsandsummers.com. Starting in heavyweight, Collingswood's Kyle Falzone takes down Mike Grace, and Falzone wins by a major decision, 12 3. But Kittatinny comes back to win a huge one at 103. Derek Conrad scores a reversal against Jim Hatzel. That breaks a late tie, and Conrad goes on to an 8 4 decision. Then at 112, Garrett Scrivani of the Cougars comes out firing. He uses the arm bar to pin Steve Shields, and Kittatinny goes ahead by a score of 9 to 4. At 119, Chris Burge faced a tough opponent in Eric Hamrick. Burge actually trailed until he used his brutal arm bar to turn Hamrick, and then he would score a crucial pin for Kittatinny. Back come the Panthers. At 125, Rich Panisi used tilt after tilt, scoring back points on Justin Zeba, and Panisi the winner by Tech Fall. Then at 130, it's Brian Hairston with the five-point move against Sean Lombardi. Hairston can't get the pin, but he does get a Tech Fall, and the Cougar lead is down to 15-14. The Cougars need a big effort from Derek Valenti wrestling at 135, and he's able to cradle Mike Shields and put him on his back. That's a big six points right there for Kittatinny. I knew if I just got stepped up big, did what I've been doing all year long, the team will be able to rally behind. At 140 pounds, Troy Hernandez, the nice takedown against Alex White. Hernandez wins by major 14 to 6, and the Cougars lead it 25 to 14. Then in a key toss-up bout at 145 pounds, Troy Branham records the takedown against Will Heinel, and then Branham holds on to post a vital 3 to 2 decision. I knew I had a tough kid going into the match. I knew I'd have to uh, give him my all. And uh, I was just able to get a takedown in the second period. And from there, I uh, just held on for the victory. Senior leader, keeps things close, looks for an opportunity. He's come up on a short end of stick. A lot of tough kids that he's wrestled. So uh, it was nice to come through. Kid Atini suffers a setback at 152 in a close bout. Joe Hogue tries for the late takedown, but gets pancaked by Brian Lohan for the pin. And at 160, Vince Simone takes John Sanford down. Simone wins a 17-8 major decision. Collingswood pulls within 28-24 with three bouts left. Once again, the Cougars call on Hobie Wanamaker, and again he comes through. Wanamaker trailed Fabian Rivera entering the third period, but he takes him down and rallies to win 8-6. I just kept talking to myself, saying, you know, be patient, be patient. Things will come, things will come. Uh, I don't know, I just happened to be, I was in better shape, and I just happened to just keep working it, keep working. He made some mistakes. He's still inexperienced on varsity, first year varsity. Kept it close. His conditioning paid off. His desire to win for the team paid off. He's just uh, a hero twice in, in two days or three days. Well, it's amazing. The match still wasn't over. At 189, this takedown by Mark DiLiberto gives him a 4-3 win over Eric Bach to keep Collingswood alive. So Kittatinny led by four points, heading to the final match at 2.15. Derek Kane wrestled carefully to avoid the pin. He would end up losing 2-1 to one to Brendan Dentino, but that was good enough. And the Cougars hold on to win the title 31-30. to 30. I was just sitting there, keep composure, knowing I'm a big kid. I don't want to get thrown to my back because we're only up by four points. So just wrestle conservative and uh, see how it goes from there. I mean, you ended up losing the bout, but I guess you'll take it, right? Oh, best one I've ever had in my life, or best loss, I mean, I've ever had in my life. It's most rewarding, obviously. You know, he's a great, steady, eddy type of wrestler. He keeps, keeps doing what he has to do, and uh, what a great kid for him to be in position. There's a winner that, that didn't win. I mean, he, he was a winner for our team, and he didn't get his hand raised. So we, had a, we have a bunch of that. This whole year, we've had a bunch of that kind of effort. Kids losing come up winners. Well, every single point counted, but Kittatinny made it happen, and they are the Group 1 state champions. I just can't believe it. I'm at all right now. It's We just won a Group 1 state title, and I, at the beginning of the year, I don't think many people thought we'd be, get, be able to get anywhere with this team. But every single kid, every single match mattered, and every single kid worked their butt off. Whenever you can come out here and win a state championship, it's something special. And uh, we haven't had the same type of team we've had in the past. And doing it with this group of guys is really special. Uh, it's one of the best ones for me. Coming up to my senior year, finding out that we're going down to group one, obviously thinking Paulsboro. But when we get here, it's just it's unbelievable. But 
oh, it was just, it's great. It's great just being able to dethrone them, even though we didn't wrestle them, but it's like we're the new, we're the new state champs at group one. You're trying to rob points, don't get pinned. Try not to give five up, try not to give four up. I'm just so proud of these kids. You know, every team is different. The chemistry is different. The personalities are different. What a wonderful team. What a wonderful team. We almost shouldn't have been here, and we came here and made some noise, and, and we took something. You know, Paul's Brills had every one of these, every one of these, and now we got one. So, you know, at group one. So I'm very proud of them. Coach John Gellert hoped he'd had the chance to face Paulsboro, which has been the dominant team in group one over the years, but it's still pretty sweet to win no matter who the opponent. It would have been nice to beat the red team. You know, they're just so awesome. But we beat a team that beat them twice. So, I mean, how much, how much more can you do? Uh, you know, Collingswood beat them once during the season in a, in a, in a group. So I'm, I'm just very happy. If it couldn't be theirs, I'm glad it's mine.